Hey everyone, it's John here, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at three ways that you can unpivot data in Excel. Let's take a look. The first method we're gonna take a look at for unpivoting our data is using the pivot table wizard. So this is a legacy tool, and you're not gonna find it in the Excel ribbon, but you can still use it with a keyboard shortcut. So here we've got a pivoted set of data. So that just means that we've got an attribute going down the rows. So we've got this category field here. And then we've also got an attribute going across the columns. So we've got the year going across the columns. And then for each one of those combinations of category and year, we've got a revenue value here. Now what we wanna do is transform this into a tabular data set. So we want a single column for each of those attributes. So a single column for the category, a single column for the year, and a single column for the revenue value. So let's press Alt, D, and P, and that's gonna open up our pivot table and pivot chart wizard. And the option that we wanna select for this is multiple consolidation ranges. And then we're gonna choose pivot table. Let's click on next. And this is a tool that you can use to consolidate multiple ranges here. We've only got the one range, so let's just create a single page field. And let's click on next. And here we're gonna select our range of data. And let's add that and click on next. And we're gonna place this pivot table in our existing worksheet here and press finish. And you can see that we've got something that looks exactly like what we started with. But within our pivot table fields list here, we can modify this. And if we drag our column field into the rows area, then we're getting to something that looks more like a tabular data set. And in fact, we can go up to the design tab and turn this report layout into a tabular data set. Click on report layout and show in tabular form. And let's also get rid of those subtotals. And we're going to repeat our item labels. And there we go, we now have this data set in its unpivoted format. So you can see that we've now got a single column for our category, a single column for our year, and a single column for our revenue values. Next up, let's take a look at using a formula to unpivot our data. So we're going to use a let function in order to organize our calculation. And first up, we're just going to get the rows of our categories and the columns of our years, and then the values. And from there, we're gonna use the rows and columns function to calculate how many rows and how many columns our values have. And then we're gonna use the make array function in order to make a column of index numbers. And these index numbers we're gonna to use to get the correct category or the correct year in a column. So let's just take a look at those. Let's just temporarily return our row index variable. And you can see here what we've calculated is a one, then a two, and then a three. And that's going to allow us to return the first category here, which would be bike racks. And then the second category here, which will be bike stands, etc. And we're gonna do a similar thing for our years. And that we're gonna use the column index variable and it's gonna return this. So here you can see that we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then repeating. And that's going to allow us to return the first item, the second item, and the third item, et cetera, from our year. 
And with those columns of index numbers, we're gonna use the index function to return the actual category or year. And so for example, that's going to be in our row variable. And you can see that we've just got our first category, our second category, and our third category, etc. And similarly, we have a column variable based off of our column index variable. And you can see that we've got all of the years in a repeating block. And then with our values, we're just gonna use the to column function to return those values as a single column. And then we can use the h stack function to combine those three columns together to get our unpivoted data. And so the end result is we get our category column, our year column, and our values column of unpivoted data. Lastly, we're gonna take a look at unpivoting our data with Power Query. So here we've got our data set in a table and you can add your data into a table by going to the insert tab and clicking on the table command. And once you've got it inside of a table, then you can use that table with Power Query. So we can go up to the data tab and create a Power Query from table slash range. And that's gonna open up our Power Query editor. And here's our data in the data preview. And now we wanna unpivot these year columns. So we wanna turn them into a single column of values. And in order to do that, we're going to select the other column, our category column, and we can right click on it and there's an option here to unpivot the other columns. And once we select that, then we get our unpivoted data. So here we've got a single column for a category, a single column for a year, and a single column for our values. Now we can load this transformation back into Excel. So we can go back to the Home tab and click on Close and Load to. And here we're gonna load it into a table and we're gonna select a place in our worksheet here and press okay. And now we've got our unpivoted data with each attribute in its own column. So there you go, that's three ways that you can unpivot data in Excel. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. And we'll see you in the next video.